Okay. Ah, oh, that's a hell of a lot better. So anyways, do you think John All right. Actually, okay. Um, so fun fact, uh, which I'm sure those of you who are watching at home Oh, my God. We were not live. <laughs> That's why I needed to go over it. We Talk weren't live? Ryan. We weren't live, no. We're still being recorded for YouTube, so that whatever the match is, that, uh, whatever was missed, did end up on YouTube. We, were, we weren't live for eight minutes, which also might have just been me talking into the void, which is especially <laughs> funny. Um, but Sorry, anyway. Randomly. But anyway, though, DJ John Mark. What the heck is happening? Hold so, on a second. So here's what happened. Here's what happened. DJ Mark, DJ John Mark and I, we played in winter. Dude, he, we were round one, right? He beat me two one. Then he beat Shy Guy, and now he's here fighting Suarez, and he's actually winning. What the? A Kirby? Hold on a beating second. This yo beating this Pichu? I am Yoshi. If we end up having two Kirby's winning on stream, uh, oh, we had that kid's win earlier, right? That kid's won earlier. Yeah. Also, just as a general thing, Kirby's a bad character. He's a bad character, but I feel like every character, who pl every person who plays this character has insanely good funnies. Oh, yeah, no, that is definitely true. You um, need the funnies of, like, a saint to play this character at a high level. But it's also, like, but funnily enough, Yoshi is kind of a character that, you know, speaking as a Yoshi man, I hate to admit it, but uh, kind of undoes the concept of fundies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, you have good fundies. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't this mean weird, anything. slippery dinosaur is going to be doing all sorts of weird things. <gasps> what is these mix of Suarez getting to read? Almost got that done. Pretty damn close. Okay. He's looking for an up throw right now. Up throw underneath the platform. Ooh, Didn't not get there out of the yet. platform. Not no. there. He's searching for it. He's hunting for it. DJ Mark, one thing I noticed that he gets these grabs really he, well. He's looking for oh, it. He's there dead. it is. He's dead. Yep. He's dead. And Suarez is out of here. What in the name of Kirby lore? Kirby I mean, that's kind of incredible. Although <laughs> I do want to say, um, I feel like Suarez should have avoided that platform like the play. He kind of threw Absolutely. out an aerial right underneath it when that was exactly what John Mark was looking for. I don't for. think he was thinking about like getting killed by up throw. I think he was more just like, how can I keep my pressure Kirby. going forward without um, getting grasped by Kirby's tiny yeah. hands? But it's like Kirby in general, especially if those higher percents, can kind of struggle to actually kill. He can, unless he like. Well, I don't. Ag I agree, but at the same time, I don't agree because what it, what he struggles with is the range game. And when you have to box with Kirby like Yoshi, then it's kind of not. The range game is kind of gone. Like R Yoshi's not outranging Kirby. Okay, so here's the thing about it: is the fact that Kirby is once he gets to up throw kill percent, then it's you know then it's really nice. But Kirby is the kind of character where like if his opponent messes up a little bit in neutral, he can't really convert that into a kill very often. Not a high you know percent. What I mean? No, yeah, because a lot of his tilts aren't really killing unless it's like down. I uh, tilt by the ledge. It's like I mean dash attack technically is actually okay. Good, dash attack is wild. Dash attack is wild. There's a certain angle that they get of it too that sends you upwards and that kills you at like 90. It, it, it's yeah. crazy. Like Kirby, Kirby's a powerhouse. He's like. One of the few glass cannons that Smash has to offer. That's over here. That was super duper punishable, and I, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like Suarez is kind of not playing his best right now. That's he's like making these uncharacteristic mistakes where like he should really be punishing. Granted, well, Suarez him. not at his best. No, he's still pretty damn. Still good. pretty damn good. But I'm wondering, what made you think it wasn't at his best? Wasn't this Kirby kind of waxing him a little bit in neutral? Or uh, but not only is the Kirby waxing him in neutral, but also. <laughs> uh, like, there were a couple moments where he should have had a punish, and he kind of did it. Yeah, he kind of fumbled the bag a little bit over there. Nice, good good little swing, though. Has Kirby above him. And I feel like you know, Kirby's struggling to land uh, against Yoshi. What's Kirby struggling to land against Yoshi? I feel like... Uh, so the thing is, the fact that Yoshi has such good air mobility is going to make it kind of trick. Ooh, okay. So this is a whole new game. This is a whole new Suarez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It seems like... He, he's like kind of. It feels like, on a fundamental level, he's shaking off the cobwebs. Yeah. Where it's not necessarily that you know. It feels like he's fixed a dozen things in order for him to be ahead by this much. First, first step. Don't approach Kirby. Let him come to you. You approach Kirby. You, if you if you're in a situation where you have to approach Kirby, you're gonna get like whiff punished, which is really yeah. weird to say because Kirby's gonna float above you. How I does mean, Kirby beat Yoshi? Did I? I feel like one thing, one way, main way Kirby was punished is that he just floats above you, waits you for you to commit on the ground or swing hard, swing hard and miss an aerial. Um, from my experience, the way that Kirby beats Yoshi is actually you know, playing a more grounded game. Okay. Um, he is a very small character, meaning that there's at times it can actually be kind of awkward Ooh. for Yoshi to hit him. You know. That's true. Dude, John Mark has been playing the ground game like phenomenally well, especially in the first game. 
Nice to have that Nair. Still disjointed. Don't know why they did that. Well, that that was one of the buffs that made Kirby absolutely like a lot better for character. Oh yeah, no, his neutral air went from being like this like like okay, buddy. Like that's cute. It went from being like that's cute to being like oh. Like, oh, that's, that's kind of cute. That's <laughs> Ooh. But the Tims of the prehistoric age are gonna send Kirby yeah. into the blast zone. The Tims wins. The Tims wins. They always win. They never know. There win. is no player cam What's player up? for. I'm oh, sorry, commentator cam. Oh. <laughs> this guy. Oh. <laughs> He's just here to say hello. That's it. <laughs> What's up, chat? <laughs> we got player four on the mic. I'm it's literally it. here just to say Suarez is kind of booty. He's in game one to a Kirby, but this Kirby's kind of nice. Nah, this Kirby's this Kirby's nasty. It's kind of like nice, it. but he's still playing Kirby at the end of the day, so <laughs> Kirby kind of sucks. You're not wrong. <laughs> right. Back, back to salty fun. And we're on Smashville this time. I'm sure we're gonna be getting player four on the mic later, but for in the meantime, we have to get into this game three between these two players. Already, honestly, amazing that John Marcus taken Suarez to a game three. But ooh, oh, that's yeah. really scary if you're Kirby. Oh, with that, ooh, the, you, you gotta keep being scared because it is not over hey, yet. Yeah, Kirby in disadvantage is not. It's not good. It's not good. That's all I can really say. Like we've, I've been like complimenting DJ John Mark, John Mark a lot. I'm just calling him DJ. I've been complimenting um, DJ I call, a lot. I, Jark. Jark. I can't say that. You can't, I can't say, say Jark? It. Nah, I don't want to say Jark. I, I have a friend named John Mark, and I call him Jark. Jark? And he accepts it. He's like, fine, whatever. I guess my name's Jark now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can definitely get away with See, calling I'm, him I'm Jark. Just, oh, no, it's just the John Mark. It's like the John Mustard. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, he's really com hard committing to these smash effects, and it's not working out well for him. Ooh. Oh, that air dodge possibly could have been the death of John Mark. But instead, he's just barely hanging on. 107% on Suarez means he could die from an errant smash attack or anything like that. But, okay, up throw's not going to kill. He nah. has to go for the down throw just for the damage. You'll see just a little bit too heavy for the up throw to be killing right there. Ooh, but a the nice back air out of seal. Pretty damn fast. Okay, and, you know, Maddie, earlier you were saying how, oh, just don't approach Kirby, right? Mm -hmm. But what happens when Kirby has the lead? What happens you when all of a sudden to. you're forced to approach the Kirby? Yeah, then, then you lose. That, it's uh, it's kind of like, a, what's the one I look for? A domino effect. Or it's like, Kirby's one of those characters where he relies heavily on getting the first stock. So you have to then, you, you're in a situation where you have to play his game. Oh, interesting trade right there. I mean, I think it pretty much went one for one or two for two or whatever. But like, at this point, the thing is, if you're Kirby, you don't want to be trading, generally I speaking. Because Yoshi's <laughs> hits just do more damage than yours. Like, look at that. Well, You're at 48 Kirby, now, Kirby's kid. hits aren't really that weak itself. But then again, the ones that are doing the most damage are Nair and Bag Hair. And even then, they, they pale in comparison to Yoshi's damage. Hey, Yoshi Tim's! Oh, oh, no dunk. Yeah, I didn't have the spacing for the actual sweet spot. Oh, no invincibility doesn't matter, but... Can't down to the shield at that range. Nair oh, right out. I love that aggressive option. Although, honestly, John Mark has been throwing out quite a few of those from the corner. Oh. Yes, he has. And this is what I'm talking about with the crouching. You notice that he crouches to make these like forward airs really awkward to hit and that sort of thing. But right now, you John... Know, I, I feel like the crouching wouldn't really affect how, how Suarez hits these forward airs. Because like, the forward air, the way it angles, it goes down. It goes straight down. Like Crouching will probably make it easier to hit. <laughs> um... Not quite because the early forward air is a big issue. Oh, uh, like rising forward air, and it's 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 like not that impactful, but it's like just enough where there was like actually a situation earlier where his forward air wasn't able to hit because the curve back Kirby crashed. Okay, that makes more sense. Looking for these smash attacks, and he's just play nukes, play that nukes, Don Mark. Yeah, Suarez kind of being aggressive right now. I mean. I think that it's fine to, for him to, you know, take that approach. He does have a little bit of wiggle room, but oh, not that much, I'd say. Oh, Going for it all with that F, with that up smash, Reese. Another F, up smash, but not really hitting it. Hitting that weak spot. And that sour spot is so much weaker. This is 
the point where, yeah, Kirby, you know, despite all the damage that John Mark has done, despite how hard he's fought till this moment, the damage output is just getting racked up, and he has not been able to find a way to actually end Suarez's life here. Yeah, Still sitting on his second stock and being trapped at the corner. Oh, that's yeah, gonna be it. Back yep. at up smash. Honestly, a really good showing from John Mark. But Suarez, he's just such a good player. He's yeah. so consistent. Yeah, that adaptation coming from game two was. Whew, that